So I create experiences with food. I don't just cook to feed myself. Mm -hmm. It's different. Blessed love, y'all. Sending y'all love and balance. Welcome forward to my channel. We out here in front of one of my favorite farmer's markets. We got the newly health conscious. How would you describe yourself in your journey right now? I would say I'm figuring out what I want to eat and what it's doing for my body and what it can do for my body. So, yeah. Well, thanks. So we're in front of the grocery store, or should I say farmer's market right now. And we're just going to go through an experience. She's going to be asking questions mm -hmm. from her perspective. It's just new. Like, it's your first time really in a farmer's market. Yeah. So why would you choose a farmer's market over, like, superstore? So, for example, why? Great first question. <laughs> farmer's market <laughs> over superstore. Because where we live right now, there's farms all around. And in most cities, there's farms, like, around. Yeah. So a farmer's market is a market where farmers go to. So instead of superstore where, like, this kale here, this kale here could be local, probably not, because it's not in season. Oh. But if we come here in, let's say we come here in September, if we come here in the summer months, mm -hmm. all these products are gonna be local products. Okay. So right now, we're not local, but when you come here in different times of the year, it's gonna be yeah, local products. Okay. And you get smaller scales. So when is blueberry season? Oh. Blueberries come right like, three doors down is blueberry farms. Fresh. And you come here and it's mm -hmm. fresh, you know? Perfect. So ideally we wanna support the the farmers mm -hmm. as opposed to supporting these big corporations okay and it's just fresher better produce the high grade healing yeah. that's where you get the high grade healing all right so let's get a bag and let's open. so really and truly like a lot of the times we want to get everything organic as organic as possible but the reality of the situation is like there's not all the time that you can get organic so boom for example this kale we love this organic Don't look like it's organic though, but we gonna make do. <laughs> so okay, boom. what what was the first meal you made when you changed your diet from eating junk food? The thing that made me change was a squash. Really? So it's yeah. zucchini. It was a it was a chickpea and squash bread. Ooh, yummy. Ooh, fuego. And this is the almost alkaline life. So we got some taro, also known as dasheen here. This is one of my favorite ways to make fries. So we gonna make some. <gasps> Some uh, fries. And fries. fries. We're gonna make some of that. Some of that. I love the excitement. You yes. Know? That makes you this, know I love when you fun. cook. You know I love when you cook. <laughs> it makes this process fun. So we got these eggplants. Ideally, I would like the smaller eggplants. That's the one this I got last Chinese time. one. You know, yeah. we didn't use that one. This is the one from the feasting in the forest. Yeah, but we like <laughs> even the smaller eggplants. Oh, these ones. What's there that? We go. Yeah. Okay. Because when I go to St. Lucia, that's really what. We that's see. how they look that day. Yeah. Okay. So we see those. So those are higher of the highest grades so let's go on so how did your body change when you first started i slimmed down i was skinny i was frail i was looking weak <laughs> really that's because i was also fasting and stuff oh, okay okay but i just slimmed down because i was eating pure i was eating just only junk. fruits and veggies i was, eating, I was like, eating terrible before i switched so when i switched i lost all that dead weight all that toxicity yeah. in me and then I'm gaining weight now again, but the healthy weight. That, I feel like that's what's happening to me weight. too. I feel like I'm losing so much weight. But you're right, it must be just like the grossness within. Two, how many? Wow, uh, let's get seven. Two, three. Have a look at them, you know, give a little look. Oh, no, no, no. Love, you see? <laughs> yeah. yeah, me, I'm a, a rusher. <laughs> Okay. This banana squash, I personally don't like how they cut it up and put it in this plastic. It's not one of my favorite so things they do. why is it your favorite out of all it the squashes? It just tastes the best. I think the acorn this squash that so we good. had last time was... Okay, I've never had when this. When you make this in a stew, it's, it's a game changer. Okay, I'm down for this that. This banana squash, game changer. Certified. This has certified high grade. So, what is the price difference from shopping at like your local grocery store to like coming here and this is usually a little bit cheaper really oh yeah. i thought it was gonna be more expensive no it's usually a little bit cheaper let's see over here if they got some more organics i'm not really happy with these limited organics right now we'll get some of these nice grapes I've never seen yellow tomatoes why um, the yellow 
Like when you see heirloom, heirloom, mm -hmm. the true real tomatoes, they're like all these different colors. Wow. I so they made red it, tomatoes. That's what they did. They did like what they do is they try to make everything look the exact same. Mm -hmm. So when you come to the grocery store, you're like, oh, I get a red tomato. I get orange oranges. Like yeah, in St. Yeah, Lucia, yeah. oranges are green. Wow. In, in Colombia, oranges are green. Yeah, it makes no yeah. sense. So these are all the Asian greens. I love peaches. If I find peaches, let me know if you yeah, see I peaches. See it. I, don't even know what they are. I love peaches. It's one of my favorite. And you see right here, we got the ginger. Look how big this ginger is. We want to make sure we get the organic ginger because something like this, it's, it takes everything. It's a root, so it's right in the soil. So it gets wow. everything in the soil. So we want to make sure we get better ginger. What about cabbage? You like cabbage? I do. I like to make some uh, coleslaw. You know what? Let's get it so we can um, we can make a. Fermented, what's the for sauerkraut? Ooh. Let's make a little sauerkraut. That's gonna be a video. So what do you use sauerkraut. for sauerkraut? You use vinegar? Oh. You just use salt and water. What? And it ferments itself, right? Oh, I didn't know that I used vinegar. Yeah. Boom, boom. Let's get some of these fresh herbs. So what's your favorite herbs to put in your food? Sweet bay leaf. Mm -hmm. I know that. Yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah. Sweet bay leaf is my certified favorite, but I like the, I like cilantro's. I'm not even gonna put that in a bag. And parsley. We're gonna make some falafels. <gasps> they were having fries and falafels? Not today, not today. Oh. <laughs> not today, not today. <laughs> I was like, dang, feasting. The yeah, other reason why I come here is because of this, but it's not right, it's not in season. That's what they use to make like chicken and like yeah. make you think it's something else. Won't right? even get it. It's not right. Oh. It's not the vibe. So what what color is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be nice yellowish orange, oh, like okay. rich color. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, key lime. So What's the difference key from lines? key limes and the other ones? The other limes? Uh, some people say these are more alkaline. These are the original limes, but even these are hybrid limes. Mm -hmm. So they're all real hybrid. Um, this is like a... A little bit more of like a sharp taste to it. And then what bananas would you pick out of all these bananas? See, these are my second favorites. They what? usually have burro bananas, but they don't have burro bananas here. The reason why I come here for the most part is like, cause they have Thai bananas, they have baby bananas, they have burro bananas, but today they don't have. So what, what's the difference between this and the big ones over there that everyone buys? Chiquita, bonitas. These ones are, <laughs> these ones are more in their natural state. So they just, Send them, pick them and send them. So like in St. Lucia, yeah. these bananas will just, these trees will be growing. Everywhere. Just without people taking care of them. You know, these trees will be, other bro bananas will be growing without people taking care of them. Mm -hmm. But then you see banana plantations and the banana plantations, oh, okay. that's where you go for those chiquitas and <laughs> you know what I mean? Those kind of ones. Yeah. And these ones are- I've never had that before. These ones? We'll yeah. see if they ripen. Okay. I don't really like to get them like this because what Sometimes they don't ripen. To be? They're supposed to be like yellow? this, but oh, okay. when they ripen, they get yellow and okay. black. Okay. But sometimes they don't ripen well just because you know the distance they travel. Yeah, so yeah, true. We'll okay. see though. Let's get some avocados. Aguacate. Yes. Aguacate. Yes. So, what's your favorite fruit and what's your favorite vegetable of all, all, all time? I have a lot, but just one. If you had to, if you had to pick one of each to survive on the island. I love coconut. Mm -hmm. and I love avocados. Yeah, me too. I love avocados. <laughs> As we're here with avocado, I will have no. I love just, jackfruit too because jackfruit has so many uses to it. I've never even had jackfruit before. I always see it and Do I always you see pick on. Some? Yeah, avocados. Let's see. It has to be softy. So we can eat it today. Soft or nearly soft. This one's good, right? It's a little bit. The so avocados, they're providing you with that good fat. This one's good. Good for the brain. As we talk about women's health, mm -hmm. something they don't really speak about too Ooh, much is the good. fat is important for making the hormones. Yeah. So I don't like these small ones. Okay. You know, you're gonna pay two bucks for avocado? Yeah. We're gonna get a good size one. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we got right now. That's Gucci, though. Okay. 
So now I'm really thinking about making some stews this week. Thinking about making stews, thinking about making salad, thinking about making roasted vegetables, thinking about making the fries. So I'm thinking about all that. <laughs> let's go. Oh, yes, us. Okra. So okra is a major blessing. See how I just said I'm, I'm thinking about stew? Yes. And I come forward with one of my favorite ingredients for mm -hmm. stews. So when you get an okra, you want an okra that when you go like this, it snaps okay. at the end. So we're not going to snap every one, you know, we're not going to snap and put it back either. But once you see a couple of them are, are good snappers. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see that one? Oh, it just like didn't bend at all. So that yeah. one, when you cook it, it's going to be like solid. Slime. Oh. You know what I mean? So let's put that here. Who taught you all these <laughs> tips and tricks? Let's <laughs> <laughs> cut that cut. cut. <laughs> So you see, so so he is gonna snap out all of them. <laughs> gotta test them out just to make sure it's you know. I you. Oh no no. <laughs> yeah. So. Gucci Gucci. Get a bit of these. And the sliminess in the in the okra that actually helps lubricate your joints. And I heard it helps lubricate a lot of stuff. Exactly, like mm -hmm. for, for giving birth, for example. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, you're putting a lot, dang. It's one of my favorite veggies to get. So how do you cook it? You only cook it in stews or how, what other ways can you cook it? Like I air fry, what? I've air fried them and it's pretty good. I'm not mad at the air fried version, but I just love it. In my favorite food is I'm going to get my aunt to come actually share this preparation. Is It's called bamia. Mm -hmm. And it's a Egyptian tomatoes and okra dish. Yum. Yeah, it's fire. This is seven, dang. seven bucks. <laughs> But it come up back. Damn. <laughs> Dang, look at you just they out of season, grabbing though. his hand in a nonstop. Oh, Ooh, zucchini. Now I'm obsessed with zucchini. Let's Before I never liked zucchini until Zookies we started making stew. Roasted veggies. Mm hmm You can just eat it by itself. Yeah, so good. So good. With spices. So it's gonna be salt. roasted veggie. It's heavy. What about acorns? So that's kaboka. This oh. is acorn. Oh, they look they're very similar. Yeah, they look the same. They're cousins. This one's more of like a, it's like a lighter flesh to eat the skin of it. Mm -hmm. So these are all good. squash. All oh, squash. yeah. This is spaghetti. Have you made this? Yeah, you go like this with the fork. I've seen yeah. it on Instagram, but I never did it. <laughs> Actually, Bob with spaghetti. Okay, squash. let's try. Bob <laughs> uh, with the spaghetti squash. We got oh, acorn. that one's so good too. I know See, that it's one. It's funny because so many people love butternut, but I don't really. It's not my favorite. Oh. You know? Just, For me, I go banana squash over butternut squash. Mm -hmm. Hey, dang! I feel like we're Gucci here, though. I just want to get some green onions and then we'll head over to the next spot. These are pea shoots. Those are pea shoots? This is my guilty pleasure. So, how do you bake it? <laughs> I'm not even guilty. This is one of my pleasures. I don't feel guilty about it. I love these. So, how do you cook these? In a stew or you can eat them just like by itself? Sauteed. This is. The only time I eat garlic is with these. <laughs> so just garlic? Garlic, oil. salt, and that's it. From my face. Yeah. So what we can do with this one is make a sea moss yes. and aloe vera face mask. Please, please. I need it. So. I got breakouts. So go with this and we're, we're done. Let's head over to the next block. Huh. So this is the organic ginger. So you see how much smaller so it what, is? So what, okay, what means, what does, what makes it organic? That's what I don't, like, there's ginger over there, the big one, and then there's just what, what? It's just what, basically, the food. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite shop. <laughs> huh? My what, favorite. What makes it organic? Well, organic means it's just no pesticides. Oh, okay, and okay. no toxins put into the soil, like nothing So, but why unnatural. are those so big then, and these are so because small? Because when you feed it unnatural stuff, it's oh, it just able like to grow. You know, so that's why a lot of the organic stuff is smaller. Maybe it doesn't have that same color to it, but it's still fire. Boom. Um, see, oh, I don't even like these. these. I don't even like these. Oh no, these are the ones I do like. Sorry. Oh, you got the good ones? Which one's the sweetest one? They're all sweet. Yeah, all of them? <laughs> yeah, they're all sweet like her. Oh. Yeah, I am sweet. <laughs> Sometimes. This one. What about this? And then figs, so. So how do you eat figs? Just by itself? Just by itself. Wow, I never had one. Figs are, are I remember fig. I remember fig Newtons when we were kids, but I never liked it. Figs are fire, oh. cherry moyas, like. 
So what is a cherry moya? Sugar, sugar apple. What's an apple? Mom could know. It's like soursop. It's closer to soursop than an apple. Interesting. Then we got here, fresh product of Colombia. Representando mi gente. Chapinero. <laughs> here we go. Going bilingual on that. <laughs> Representando <laughs> chapinero. I'm so excited for the aloe vera. Eso mi gente. So boom. So we're good. So out of this, we're going to have decent amount for stew. What I'll say is like, I want some chickpeas. I want some like wild rice or some coconut black rice, some of that oh, kind of stuff. Oh, coconut milk. Oh, we can actually get coconuts here. You want to get a... Yes, please. Thank you so much. So let's get some coconuts because you can make your own coconut milk. You've done that before? Yeah. And sometimes I get some of these for my squirrel friends. <laughs> But I already got oh, some hazelnuts? at home. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they like chestnuts more. Uh -huh. So this is hard. Like honestly, it's like a risk. It's a risk you take every time you get them. You want to make sure it has water in it, and you want to make sure like none of these eyes are like moldy or contaminated. But like, see how it has that on it? So much. We're gonna take this one. I feel like it's a winner. Okay. Dang. What's up? The bill. Yeah, well, the pitaya, the dragon fruit, mm -hmm. 15 bucks. <laughs> Dang. I didn't know that. Passion fruit. That's yeah, like, those fruits, we just spent like 40 bucks at the end there. But that's an enjoyment thing. That's not like, it's not every time. Yeah. So why not every time? <laughs> it's getting life, you know? Getting life into your food, getting life into your life. It's like, would you rather spend money on this? Or would you rather spend money on yourself getting well after you're sick? Thank you so Thank much. You Good so to much. see you again. Much love. So personally, I know I could be more organized when it comes to grocery shopping. I could be more organized when it comes to meal prep or when I go to the grocery store. But for me, I follow like some basic principles and i'm a simple eater so it's like i simplify it so one is i really am fine eating a lot of the same food so i eat a lot of squash all the time and i love it and the same veggies that can be in the squash can be roasted as well so i'm super simple for me to make food like that i don't need a bunch of variety i don't need all these different things if you do then it would be good for you to do your research in advance and see what ingredients that you need for that and then go like that but for me i go on spirit i go and i'm like hmm that looks good that looks good that looks good and it's it's, it's always led me well so far but another principle that i have as the baseline is count colors not calories so as i'm in this weight gain journey i'm still not really counting my cap my calories like that i'm counting the colors and the colors are gonna signify the different benefits for you that are in the food without you really even having to know the food. Yeah. So if you were to see, for example, a fruit that for the first time you saw that, say even the, the pea shoots. Yeah. You see the pea shoots for the first time and you see they're green, yeah. you know the different benefits that are in the pea shoots already. You know that it's green, the color green in nature signifies chlorophyll mm -hmm. and chlorophyll in the center of chlorophyll is magnesium. So you already know that it's a magnesium rich food. And the darker the herb, the darker the plant, the more magnesium that's in it. Okay. When you look at the red, the red is heart health. So when we're talking about red, we're talking about tomatoes. Oh. You know, like mm -hmm. think about peppers, like cayenne peppers. When you start to sweat, you know, it's, it's heart health. You're yeah. starting, your blood starting to flow. It's starting to circulate. Circulation. Mm -hmm. And then the yellow, and the yellow and the oranges is like eye health, but then also stomach and gut and digestion. Okay, I didn't know any of this. Mm -hmm. So like, it's super simple. Sometimes if you just want benefits of food, you just look at it and it's gonna tell you a lot. That's why even in the herbal mat in the, the herbal tours in St. Lucia, Pri says, yeah. what does this look like? Because when we look at a food, it actually gives us a lot of information for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't know about all the different colors and 
that they were all the benefits. That's dope. Before I never ate any type of colorful food, like literally, mm -hmm. Slurpee was the most colorful thing. <laughs> so yeah, now eating all of this is just, yeah, and it's different. I do feel like I have like more energy eating this way. I mean, I sometimes I don't feel full, but I think I can just eat more, you know what I mean? Do you feel like you have to eat more when you eat like this or you just eat? I always have to eat more. Yeah. Whether I was eating meat, whatever I was eating, mm -hmm. I always had to eat more. Oh, you just have a very fast metabolism? Always, always, always. I, I burn so many calories mm -hmm. a day. Like, the amount of calories I burn a day is someone's weight loss calories, you know? So I burn a lot of calories. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, what we're doing right now is we're going over to a bulk place where we can get some of the more... the. Um, the heavier foods like yes. the chickpeas the beans the beans. wild rice the black rice mm -hmm. different aspects like that so it's like i'm gonna get spelt flakes because i want to make some what are those things not oatmeal what are those things you put on yogurt oh granola granola like i want to make some granola and can we so make dumplings again? come here <laughs> and then you get spelt flakes yeah you get your spelt flowers yes. you get your nuts like your brazil nuts cashews mm -hmm. whatever it may be you get all those ones mm -hmm. And that's gonna help you with the sustenance. That's gonna help you fill up. So it makes you full, or it just gives you. It's more dense. Okay. It's more dense, more more um, calorie dense, not okay. necessarily nutrient dense. Okay. Because there's a lot of nutrients in a in a food that may not have a lot of calories, mm -hmm. and that's why they say we're undernourished, but we're overfed. That means we're overfed, like we're obese. We have so much food yeah, yeah, yeah. in us, okay. but yet we have all these nutritional deficiencies. Mm -hmm. And that's because we count calories. We only count fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. But that doesn't take into account the minerals. And the minerals are really what build up your body. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's not, I wouldn't say it's more uh, nutrient dense, because a lot of the herbs are the most nutrient dense foods. but they're not really calorie dense. But we'll go over here, just, it's a little bit heavier, a little more sustenance. When you come into a place like this, they may get you, like they got Chelsea. <laughs> I want honey roasted <laughs> sriracha cashews, dang. They may get you. Cause if you look at it, yeah. when you look at the ingredients that's in mm -hmm, these things, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the most part, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So we, if you want some honey roasted, you make some honey roasted cashews yourself yeah you know what i mean you get some whole raw cashews you roast them honey roast them and then you yeah because when you get these ones that looks so fine it's like flavoring yeah corn syrup mm -hmm. you know like that's a walnut most people have probably never seen a walnut but look at this each walnut has a stamp on it that's branding they, stamp they said it don't more. matter we stamp in it <laughs> so me personally I love a little bit of these pine nuts I like a little bit of pine nuts here they're expensive though so I only get a little bit <laughs> this is really cool personally I've been wanting to make some cheese some queso for a bit so we're gonna get some walnuts and looking at making some walnut cheese with some sea moss. Wow. Yeah. And then we got the Brazil nuts. So Ooh. these are, these are once again, another coffee one. But what they say is these ones, you have like one of these and that's all the food you need for your thyroid, all the selenium that you need. So with this one, we're going to make a walnut and cat and Brazil nut cheese <gasps> with some sea moss. Oh my God, like what Gray did? Oh my gosh. But we'll actually want to make it so it's like sliceable type bar. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. That cheese was fire. Yeah? Do you have extra masks? Um, we do. Yeah, awesome. Mask up. They ask us. No, we follow. <laughs> <laughs> so here, what you're gonna find here is the basic flowers. Mm -hmm. So we won't really get much from here. We got all purpose flower. Mm -hmm. Our flowers are on the next side. Mm -hmm. When you look here, you see like dried mulberries, you mm -hmm. see dried mangoes. So you think all this is just good. When you look at ingredients, you see this is just mangoes. But then when you look at some of the other, other ones, 
you get to see that there's additives. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sodium, example, citric glucose, acid. fructose. Yeah. Right? Wow. You get here, like right here it says pineapple, cane sugar, citric acid, and it says contains sulfites. Right? So that's what we don't want in our dry food. Just keep it natural, keep it organic. So one of my guilty pleasures to buy. Coconut rolled dates. Ooh, fancy. So home, make some rotia. We'll get some sprouted spell flour. Well, that's the same one we use when we went. Yeah. Okay. So the sprouted spell flour. So it's a little bit easier on your digestion mm -hmm. as it's sprouted, activated. And it's the ancient grain. It's, it's still, it's like a wheat. So it's not gluten free. And you see how it says chickpea flour? Mm -hmm. You want to stay away from chickpea flour too. Mm -hmm. Just buy your chickpeas mm -hmm. and turn it into a flour in your blender. Because oh. once it's like that, it loses its, its essence to it. This is where I would usually shop back in the day. Like, look at all the cookies, the animal crackers, the Scotty. Oh my God, these were my favorite when I was younger. Oatmeal fudge cookies and this. Oh, white chocolate. Chocolate covered double stuffed Oreos. Okay, let's go. <laughs> what are you getting? Oh, chickpeas. They're just dry. So right here, mm -hmm. like if you're on a budget, you can spend ten dollars on chickpeas, and that's gonna feed you the whole week. You put a little green onions on it. Mm -hmm. So how do you make? <laughs> you put it? a little you some some. You, how do you make this? You, you soak, soak it with it? sweet bay leaf and uh, bladder wax, mm -hmm. and then um, soak it for like twenty four hours, yeah. and then make it in the uh, pressure cooker. Okay. Yeah. I like black eyed peas. Yes. I like these black turtle beans. Yum. You know what? We're going to get these because I'm going to make favorite. that burrito again. Oh, yes, that burrito good. made with Darius. I may share. <laughs> I may bring it into the office. Oh, <laughs> I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Depends how I'm feeling. And the avocado sauce. So we got black turtle beans mm -hmm. as we're on Turtle Island. Yeah. And then, hmm, I don't usually get lentils. I feel like lentil time though. But we're actually gonna get some some uh, black rice. Yummy. So really and truly, for me, the main grain that I eat is fonio. Look, black rice is fire too. That's the only rice you eat? Why? No, not the only rice. I also oh. eat wild rice. This is the ancient grain, the forbidden rice. So as we were talking about count colors, not calories, mm -hmm. you see the difference in this rice versus that rice? Yeah, it looks like it's just bleached. Right, that rice has nothing in it. So this is how it's actually looked and then they made it like that? This is a different type of oh. rice, right? But this one, when you have the water from this, it's actually not black, it's purple. Oh, yeah. All right, so that has antioxidants in it. I don't eat too much, but we're gonna get it. What? Some wild rice. Yum. So you can make a wild rice. Real Uncle Ben's not fake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that wild rice. Just so a wild rice, so this is different. Yeah, I've never seen it that brown before. Yeah. One second, one one. Great day. I'm gonna get lentils. For me, I eat a lot of it just sort of memories. So one of my greatest memories is going over to my friend's house and getting yellow doll from his mom when he makes it. They're Indian from the Punjab region. So the yellow doll is next level. Mm -hmm. So I create experiences with food. I don't just cook to feed myself. Mm -hmm. It's different. Just for y'all reference, Coming to a place like this and getting these, this is not just for one week. I'll come here maybe once a month or once every two to three weeks. So whatever you spend in here is not just for one week. It's gonna stretch over time. Yeah. So we have the hemp seeds here. To be honest, this is too expensive for me. 16 bucks a pound. I'm gonna go somewhere else for them, but gotta get the hemp seeds. So once again, if you come to the front of the aisle, it's gonna tease you, yes. it's gonna tantalize you to say, don't make nothing yourself. We have it pre-made for you. All these different granolas with all the different additives, 
but it's so easy to make your own granola. So we're just gonna get the basic ingredients. Okay. We already got most of it, and then we're gonna make our own. So these are spelt flakes, so spelt flour. Puffed up and shot up. So we're gonna get this. There's gonna be some fonio in there, some walnuts, some Brazil nuts, maple syrup. And if you want to, this is essential when it comes to the smoothies, you know, you this, know what? Let's get some sunflower seed butter. For the smoothie? Yeah. Okay. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Why, why, why did you pick sunflower seed over cashew, over cashew butter or almond butter or? Just to get a seed instead of a nut butter. Okay. So this is a seed. These are all the nuts, so. Sometimes the seeds are easier on the digestion, at least for me and less people are allergic to them. And I like it, it's a little bit of a different flavor to it. Cool. We're gonna give y'all a little bonus here, all right? So right here, we got soap nuts. You don't even need to buy laundry detergent no more. You put this in a little cotton bag and you put it in your laundry and this, these soap nuts are actually gonna clean your clothes. What? So nature comes equipped with even things for you to do your laundry. It's, it's amazing really when you think about it, but I used to only wash my clothes like this. If you look at teas, a lot of these teas have flavoring in them. So a lot of teas that were like, mm, this tea is so good, mm, this tea is so good. It's because it's flavor. <laughs> Which okay, one? so she saw some pasta here, but personally, there's no pasta here for me. No, that's what I was going to ask. There's none, <laughs> you know of, I mean? none of this is the None spot. of this. Oh. None of this is the vibe, Dang, you know? this is what I would love. Okay. So I just know the spots and I just, you know, I don't even mm -hmm. look at it. Yeah. There's nothing here for me. Wow. Pasta is the ball. I do have one weakness here. I hope they have it. No weakness. <laughs> hmm, they don't have it no more. These epic chocolates. But I will get this moo free. I usually get one orange. Huh, interesting. Sponge toffee. Interesting. Interesting. One orange, one mint. That's the treats. So yeah, those chickpeas are gonna be a couple of weeks worth of chickpeas. Honestly, that's some good stuff right there. Plus, I got the Fonio the supplement at home. Ooh, Gucci. Are you sure you got that right? <laughs> you sure you got that right with the pine nuts? Sorry? Are you sure you got that right with the pine nuts? I wrote the right They're 25? Dang, pine nuts. $22, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna enjoy easy. every last one of those. <laughs> wow. Take a video, wow. take a <laughs> Like I said, like I'd rather, yeah. like if you go out to eat, you're gonna spend this one yeah, time. True, true, you know true, what I mean? True, if you true, go out to eat, it's light. True, true, so we true. just have it in our head, like mm -hmm. confusion, like we're lost. Yeah, one skip the dishes order is that. <laughs> just hope I have money. Cross your fingers. You didn't bring it? Woo. We made it. I give thanks. Every time that goes through, I give mm -hmm. thanks. Every time I get it goes through, I give thanks. Sorry? Do you still have Fonio here? Um, we used to have it, but right now we don't have it. Nice. Yeah. So you just have Should supply them. Blessed love, y'all. So that's a grocery shopping experience, something light. Sometimes I'll go to some other organic markets to get more of the organics, but this will do for now. We're gonna share some of the recipes and the things that we do with the ingredients that we have. But otherwise, y'all sending y'all so much love, so much balance. Go out there, get some groceries, try something new, and connect with the food. Like really go out there and get some different colors, count colors, not calories, and let's vibe your life up. All right, sending y'all love. Yeah. Rastafero. Mm -hmm.